Fordite is made from multiple layers of automotive paint, which is hardened. It is prized for its unique layers of colors, as well as being durable enough to be cut and polished to make decorative items. Fordite is thought to be named after Henry Ford, though the Ford company was not the only one to produce Fordite. Many automotive companies of the time were producing the material. It is also known as Detroit Agate or Motor City Agate, referring to its place of origin. However, Fordite is not a true agate, as an agate is a rock that consists of several layers and colors, usually consisting of quartz and chalcedony. Also, Fordite is man-made, while agate is naturally occurring, usually by volcanic processes. Detroit or Motor City Agate and Fordite are all nicknames. The material itself is actually a paint byproduct called slag. In the early days of the automobile, the vehicles were painted by hand with bland, varnish-style paints. It was a very time-consuming process, as the paint needed to dry, then it was rubbed with pumice between the multiple layers. In the 1920s, the DuPont Company and General Motors developed a lacquer paint that dried fast and came in several colors. They also developed a sprayer for the paint, virtually eliminating the brush-on method. Then, in the 1930s, enamel paint was used instead of lacquer, as it lasted longer and retained its shine. The difference was that this paint needed to be baked. The car parts would be put onto tracks, spray painted, then make their way down the production line to be baked. Any paint overspray would also be baked, making a very hard, thick byproduct. Colors were switched, often to fill different orders, but the tracks remained the same, which allowed various colors and layers of paint to build up and become baked on these assembly line components. The baking process allowed the paint to become a solid, stable product. The paint continued to build up, creating what is called slag, until it obstructed the production process, at which point the tracks would be removed and replaced. The paint slag was often tossed aside and disposed of, that is, until some of the workers discovered the colors and patterns when you slice through the material vertically. The assembly line workers would knock off pieces to take home to their families, and soon the word was out about this unique paint byproduct. Rock and mineral enthusiasts started arriving at automotive production plants to take away their paint slag. In the 1970s, new techniques of applying the automotive paint were developed, which minimized paint wastage. Because of this, no more Fordite was created, and so it is now much rarer than it once was. The colors of Fordite vary from the different time periods. The older paints tend to have browns and blacks, while paints of the 60s and 70s have more pastels and are more colorful. The most desired paint is the older paint from the Ford River Rouge plant, and often has bright greens, oranges, and metallic colors. Fordite does contain lead, as it's a component of the acrylic materials used in the paint. However, the non-organic lead used is not easily absorbed through the skin, even through a cut or scrape. So unless you are going to eat it, there is really no danger in wearing or handling a piece of Fordite. <laughs>